I am afraid there is no rest for the weary, Lilith. We must delve further into the motivations of the masked man, the Asian known as Labria. There is an ideal moment to do so, while our hands are not so bound dealing with another primal. At present we know little and less about the Asians, only the destruction follows in their wake. I should not be surprised if these beings are behind the chaos that racks the realm. If my fears prove to be real reality, we must do all in our power to stop them. Earlier, I sent word to each grand company to solicit cooperation. The immortal flames responded to the effect that they have information on, on a potential sighting. This is the intelligence we can ill afford to ignore. Go speak with Flame Commander Swift at the Hall of Flames in Uldar to inquire further. How you go about the investigation thereafter, I leave wholly in your discretion. But whatever you do, never forget that we are dealing with the unknown. You cannot take too many precautions. Be safe, Lilith. The masked man? Ah, you come on behalf of the Scions, of course. Yes, as we've already relayed to Lady Minphilia, there has been a sighting of this rogue near about the eastern Fanaland. A brass blade stationed at Highbridge described him in detail when he alerted us to suspicious activity. I would point you to the witness, but I'm afraid he died not two days ago. Slain by a marauding horde of Quigern. Fate can be a cruel mistress. But do not be too quick to despair. Being situated on a trade route, Highbridge sees its fair share of travellers. Folk are always coming and going, and some among them may well have caught a glimpse of your target. You could do worse than to speak with a merchant named Hihibara. The fellows are always starved for customers, and he'd no doubt welcome your attention, whether or not a coin in mind to spend. So then, yeah, we're just following this road. Let's have a look at the full scenery. A weird spaceship flying around somewhere around here. Oh well, what is that? Oh, this is this is where we do the jumping puzzle. I like jump on all the platforms. And get into the hands. Ah. Welcome to Hybrid Adventurer. What if you seek? I, Hihibaru, can provide it. Uh, probably. You're after a masked man? Hmm, I'm not sure I have one of those in stock. Oh! You're after a masked man. Why didn't you say so sooner? Such an individual might have featured in one of the many rumours I've heard. If you linger a while, may I you'll learn a thing or two, eh? Keep dragging the damn thing rather than clicking. Oh, die. When the Order of Noldfar began excavating the ruins below, I had hopes that Highbridge would turn into a bustling hub for pilgrims. But thanks to the nigh endless beastman raids, folks are too afraid to come within a mile of here. So in everything, 
I owned to get my venture aside and I'm loath to give up without making or an earnest effort to stick it out. But if things keep going as they are, I'll be bankrupt before the moon is through. Whining won't do me any good though. Uh, not for, for my business to survive. I, I need business. Speaking of which, perhaps you'd like to browse my wares? Huh. Uh, spend a bit of coin to help a struggling merchant. The masked man. Bah. If I'll take your bloody masked man. I, I know what I said before, but fake rumours are all I've got. If you want to know about him, go, go and ask the other merchants. I mean, I kind of like your hat. Okay, let's go ask the other merchants. There's one down here, though. Ah, oh, over there. Hi, uh, I've heard of the Masked Devil. Seems he's been appearing not only around the High Bridge, but elsewhere about Fanline too. Enough folk have reported seeing him to convince me he's more than a figment of imagination, but little was known about him otherwise. Well, he's more helpful than the other one. Wait, how do I get... Do I have to cross the bridge? No. That's the other side. Yeah. Over here. I think. Maybe. Down? Do I have to go down? Uh Oh. Is on the bridge. On the trail of a masked man. Hi. I've heard of him. But only in hushed tones and faint whispers. I just said he wears a black hooded robe and looks right suspicious. And that's about all I can say. Little though it is. Have I seen a masked man wearing a dark robe? No, I haven't, nor do I wish to. Business is bad enough without shady characters lurking about. Folk have been giving Highbridge a wide berth because of all the quigger and raids. None but the most devout of pilgrims are willing to come here anymore. By your expression, I take it you didn't learn much of use. Look, I'm sorry for my rudeness earlier. It's just that things are tough. It's tough for us merchants at the moment. The quick and raids are so constant, so organised. We're beginning to suspect that someone is orchestrating it all. I tend to put my my own welfare first, like most of us do. But that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Uh, I promise to keep an eye out for your masked man. If I see or hear anything, you'll be the first to know. Can we get some dye? Three pots of this stuff. Oh, did you find something? I finally got some eyes to God's information about your masked man. Why is he confident? Because I saw him with my own two eyes. I was out for an evening stroll, mind my own business. Why not as the common smoke rises from a cliff over that falls respite? Curious. I took myself there to find a masked man. Your masked man. I'm sure of it. Stand by a fire. As if in answer, some quicker appeared soon after and the group began talking at length. I'm afraid I was fire out of earshot to hear much of anything. As the group had dispersed, an idea came to me. If you were to use this smouldering coal to start a fire, you might be able to arrange a similar meeting. It would be dangerous, I shouldn't doubt. But you probably just have more than a match for a pack of rats. So what do you think? It's a sound reliable information? 
if I do say so myself, well, what a worth all the lingering about you've been doing, wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Boy, it sounds like he's trying to get rid of me. Wait, where am I heading? Oh, all the way up there, okay. It's a lion person. I almost I never, I, I almost never meet them. I never see those around. Is he Baru? Can I have any idea of what a ward of the destroyer is? Back so soon? Were you able to find any clues into your mass man? Ah! The, the scroll bears a prayer to Rauga, the destroyer! In case you're unfamiliar, Rauga is the guardian deity of our Mahigo. He's currently under guardian rule. It's highly uncommon for folk of other nations to revere him. I'd wait to my last kill that your assailant was an Alamigo. Alamigan, even. Seems this masked man of yours is very well connected. I must confess, the merchant in me envies such a diverse network of contacts. That self same merchant also senses danger, right? And darkness besides, he said he'd rather not take things nice and slow here at Highbridge. I mean, I would, but who's going to pay me? Orange dye. Huh. The Alamegan bandit, you had a run in. It's somehow connected to your last man of mystery. So it stands to reason that if you want to pick up the trail, you should head towards the little Alamigo over in the southern Fanalum. Just so you know, what do we expect? The settlement is the favoured destination of those refugees who can, well, adapt to life in order. The hearts of the denizens are, are said to be as barren as the wasteland they live in. And for the intents and purposes, it's a lawless place. Be prepared for a not so warm welcome. Now, if I'm not certain how much help she'll be, but it just so happens I have a daughter who is uh, relocated to little Alamigo. Her name is Hihira. And it shouldn't hurt to seek her out first. And while you have her attention, I'd be obliged if you could send my love. Not a day goes by when I don't think of her. I suppose this is it then. I had hoped you'd linger around a while and call some fiends. Spend some coin, why have you? But so it sounds me, you're destined for great things. Whatever it is, uh, whatever it is, you end up. I wish you the best. That's raining quite heavily. 
Now the wind's affecting me. That's pretty cool. Huh? Why, yes. He hey, here, Baru's my father. He said, what? Ah, uh, I wish... I wish I could be a better daughter to him. It's just, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with family matters, but I'm grateful for you to deliver the message. Now then, what brings you here? A masked man? I'm afraid the description doesn't ring any bells, but one of the others here may have seen something. I would recommend you first speak with Gundabold, the leader of the settlement. I must warn you, though. He isn't exactly accommodating to outsiders. Who are you? Stay your business and be quick about it. Looking for a masked villain, you say? And why should we help you, pray? We struggle enough without having to answer to the whim of every outsider. You're not welcome here. Be gone. Met adventurer, I'm Gilsabert, head of security here at Little Alamigo. I heard tell that you had business with Gundabold. Knowing the bristly old bear, I don't doubt he told you to bugger off. Owing to your hardships, the refugees don't trust anyone but themselves, not even my men. And I can get so much as a word of thanks out of them, despite watching the police day and night. But thanks or no, I try to help my fellow man where I can, and you seem a decent sort. If you tell me what's brought you here, might be as I can lend a hand. On the trail of a masked villain, you say? Huh. Can't say that sounds familiar, but I have men on lookout for Amoja to the south of here. If there's been any suspicious activity, they are like to have seen it. I had a mind to take them each a cup of sweet fanalon tea. So as to lift their spirits. If you were to run the errand on my stead, they'd be all the more willing to tell you what they know. Oh, I'm a teammate now. Who the hell's are you? I'm trying to conserve energy, eh? Yeah? So leave me alone. Well. Ain't you considerate? My well, thanks, friend. What's that? Mars villain? Hiding among the refugees? Like as not. My compatriots as live here... Yeah, I guess that's right. My compatriots as live here go about as though they're dead on their feet. It is near impossible to doubt what's going on in their minds, for I know they're all up to no good. You there? Are you an ammo jar? No? Then carry on. Oh. Ah. Oh. This sophisticated aroma has been forever since I had a drop of sweet final on tea. I'm gonna enjoy this. What a masked man. Don't know, don't care. Unless he's got dark scaly skin, stands ten forms tall, and has a face of a lizard, I don't give a mama's fart. Shoo shoo, don't bother me if the ammo driver runners, I am blaming you. For me, you shouldn't have. Sorry, a suspicious masked man, a uh, masked man, even. Uh, as a matter of fact, I caught a glimpse of someone fitting that description during patrol. 
Well, I couldn't quite make out whether it was a man or not. What with the mask and the robe, but assuming it was a he, he was talking with some other Megans. I assume he was one of them. So we're on the trail now. Are oh, you back? Does it my lookouts have ought to share with you? Hmm, I don't sound like much to go by. If you for if you to get any further in your investigation, seems to me you'll need the cooperation of the Alamegans. For this you'll need to win their trust. And that won't be an easy task. <laughs> 